Well, our approach with Mozart's Requiem is we're not just learning the music. You know, we're delving into a little bit of Mozart's life and a little bit of how his life affected his music and like where he was in his life when he was writing it. You know, in conjunction with a lot of the other things that we learn in choir, sight reading, we're doing a Renaissance packet for sight reading that really helps with a lot of the movement in the Mozart Requiem pieces. things I love about this piece, the Requiem, is just the whole wide variety of human emotion it displays. There's points of like almost elation, there's points of forgiveness, there's points of fear. There's so much history behind it which I feel like we can almost resurrect because we're just going through not just his death but through the ending of his life, what he was thinking then. It's a haunting piece but it's incredible to sing. This is by far the biggest undertaking that we've ever, you know, approached. We've translated every single piece of Latin to find out what exactly this text was about. On top of that, I would go home each night and then try to read some Mozart books so I could come back and I could provide them with a follow-up fact. What his life was like, what the time period was like, what, the, what it means to sing classical style music. Mozart fact of the day! Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Mozart fact of the day. I'm your host Connor Carlin. Connor Carlin, a sophomore in Chambers, every single day gives us a Mozart fact. And these facts vary from when did he write his first symphony to what was his wife's nickname. It's about getting to know the composer and getting to understand maybe where he was in his life when he wrote the piece. At first I had never heard of Mozart's Requiem. I was very familiar with Mozart, but I never knew that he had this giant Requiem mass. When I first looked at it and saw that it was a total of 80, 85 pages, I was astounded and I, I was, had trouble believing that we'd be able to pull it together. And especially because like each page, each song is hard, it's challenging, you know, it's not, it's not easy stuff. Concert. We performed Mozart's Requiem. It's one of the most difficult choral works in history, so it was it was really impressive that a high school choir could um, pull it off. And then at the end, we came back to sing the Lord bless you and keep you, which is a beautiful song. And I was lucky enough to conduct it tonight, so that was awesome. Typically, a, a high school doesn't have enough endurance or stamina to get up there and sing for 70 minutes straight. Then another thing is, is that the music itself is just so hard. It's at a collegiate level. I mean, this is a collegiate piece. When I heard we were doing Mozart's Requiem, you know, I love music and it was very exciting and I like Mozart and I think it will be, I thought it would be fantastic. But, you know, the more that we do the piece and the more that we learn the interpretation and the more that we express ourselves in the music, you know, the more it touches you. It felt almost surreal I want to say it was it was so much work and it went by so fast even though it's a 70 minute work it, it didn't feel like 70 minutes it felt like 10 it was kind of a surreal moment it's definitely something I'll treasure forever